Hey guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And it's another one from Jack Toy. So amateur cider maker in Downham Market in Norfolk, who I met up with a few weeks ago. He gave me lots of things to try. I've, I'm working my way through them gradually. I've had a lot of things to try lately. So I've had to intersperse it with other things rather than just do a you know, full run on that. It's quite nice to mix it up anyway. Um, I've not done it in order either. So what have I got today? I've got Bob V, which is 7.1%. There you go, Bob V. So Bob stands for Ben's Orchard Blend. The orchard on a friend's uh, piece of land, which is all uh, traditional cider apples that were planted in the mid-90s that uh, Jack has access to and to make some really interesting ciders with them. And this is one of them. This is the Bob's Orchard Blend, number five. So I think we've done number two so far. So there's three and four in between, which we haven't done. Well, mixing it up, mixing it up, 7.1%. Uh, this has got all, a few different ones in. I can't remember the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen, but it's got Dabonet in. It's got Harry Masters Jersey in. It's got Ashton Bitter in, I think. Uh, Kingston Bitter as well, which is one I'm not that familiar with. But yeah, I'll put it on the screen. There was 91 bottles of this created as a result of his labour. And I'm very lucky to have one of them. So, without further ado... Let's open it up and try it. So he's dosing with sugar. Five grams per litre. Give a little bit of fizz. There's a very gentle fizz on that. Any bubbles coming up? Any bubbles? It's no smoking gun. So very gentle carbonation on that. I'd rather have too little and too much. You know, less rather than more personally. Always. Let's pour it out. See what we get. Oh, there's some fizz in that, all right. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, hang on, my light's gone off. Bear with me one second. I am back. We have light. I sourced another battery pack. That was exciting, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Chris. Glad you agree, as always. So, there it is. Look at that. Pale gold, straw gold almost. Hazy. Oh, it's a pineapple sort of gold, I want to say that. Whatever pineapple gold is. Is that, a, is that a gold? I don't know. There you go, anyway. That's what it looks like. Hazy. It's unfiltered. It's unpasteurized. There's no sulfites. It's just juice fermented with wild yeast. And then the sugar added to condition it to give it the bubbles. That's it. That's it. I just spilled some on my hand. But that's it. Okay. Should wipe that. Things aren't going very well. Right. Shall we sniff it? Now that smells like a cider made with real cider apples. Oh yes, it's got that kind of hint of funk, earthiness, sweated apple. Yeah, totally different. So he's on the East Coast, it's unusual he's using. So my camera just stopped working now, that time. That's the light, and then the camera stopped. Are we ever going to get to the end of this film? I mean, that's what you're asking yourselves. That's what I'm asking myself, so you must be asking that yourselves, Jesus. So, he's in Eastern Counties, but he's using West uh, West Country apples. It's quite unusual, that part of the world. Although, a Wynn Hill do it, and they're in Wells next to sea, in North, on the Norfolk coast. So there's a couple of people doing it, but not very many. So, um, yeah, lovely. Funky, earthy, stone fruity, me like it. Me like it. Let's try it. So the bubbles are gentle, but really well judged. I can't tell if there's any residual sugar in this. Oh, it's just got really good fruit, which is making me think it's got residual sugar. I think it's the latter. Um, this is good. Yeah. It's interesting. So I tried the, the, the version two. And I'm trying this. And this has got a lot more complexity. This feels like Jack has... I don't know if it's just an, a better blend and if it's just it's an accidental blend or he's done it with thought or just random to see what the results are. That is a better blend though. That is a really solid cider. Um, it's got a bit of texture to it as well. 
It's got the kind of stone fruit pit element to it, which I was mentioning before. It's got just a hint of acidity. It's got tannin, but gentle. Lots of that sweat, sweated apple character. Really good blend. Really good blend. Really nice. There's apple, but there's other layers of almost different fruit flavours coming in, which are apparently hard to sort of pick out, to be honest with you. Not pine, hints of maybe pineapple juice or something like that. Um, it's, it's really delicious. I really like it. That is an excellent dry cider. Great body, layers of flavour, good finish, nice carbonation. Me like that a lot. Me like that a lot. Nice one, Jack. Nice one, Jack. So there you go. This isn't something that you can purchase, but I still think it's interesting to try these things and discuss them. Bob 5. There you go. 7.1%. So it's a big boy. There was sugar in it. Me like a great deal. Me like a great deal. I'm going to look for. I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of this. I absolutely am. So there you go. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. An amateur cider maker in Dan and Market. Another one of his ciders tried. My favourite so far. An excellent blend. I really like it a lot. Um, yeah, fault free and delicious. Delicious. Thank you for joining me back in my cider shed as always. I hope you join me again. Got lots of other things to try. But until that time. Cheers.